closer to home, Detroit's facial recognition program is back in the spotlight. Uh, the police board of commissioners put the program under a microscope Thursday and looking at a number of revisions. Seven Action News reporter Matthew Smith is joining us live from Detroit Police Headquarters this morning. And Matt, is this fight over? I think far from it. In honesty, uh, the police board of commissioners has not yet chosen a date to vote on those rules that they're working to come up with for this facial recognition program. In reality, the two sides are so far apart when you talk about those in the public who are against this and the police chief who continues to say this is safe, but those who are against this facial recognition technology, they still have their questions. We have to be mindful People continue to show up for meetings to discuss Detroit's facial recognition program. The chief telling the public there's more to it than the tech alone. We cannot rely on the technology. It's not advanced to that point. And that's the reason why the peer review and then supervisor concurrence is critical. But those assurances haven't stopped questions. In fact, State Representative Isaac Robinson showed up at this latest Police Board of Commissioners meeting. He's the man behind a bill that would ban facial recognition statewide for five years. At the meeting, nearly two dozen possible revisions were discussed, but for some, it's not enough. Police Board of Commissioner member Willie Burton frustrated with the technology, but also how it was rolled out. They implemented a program to use it for nearly two years, collected data, and without getting the authorization from the Board of Police Commissioners. But more importantly, they have not warned the citizens about the harm of this technology points when it comes to moving forward from this. They are looking at those revisions, but again, no date yet set on when they would vote on those finalized rules. We're live outside of DPD headquarters this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.